Okay, in part two of web forms, what I'd like to do is take a look at what happens after a form is submitted and how you can see the data. So what I'm gonna do is go in and put in some quick information into a form and submit it. And from here, the resulting page is going to the home page. We can configure that and we'll look at that later. But if we were to go back, you probably notice the tabs that are all along the top right here. And we can go in and we can have a look at results. And here we have the one submission that was done. Similarly, we can also go to structure, web forms. And here we can see we have one result in the contact form. And rather than going into the build, we can take a look at the results. So there we're in the same place as where we were before. And all those tabs that you saw on the form are now along the top in the admin section. Okay. Um, if we were to click the submission itself, you could see all the data that was being collected. And there's even a few things that wasn't asked of the user, but they've collected anyway, like whether it's a draft, language is English, and the IP address. You don't really need to see those things. So we can um, hide them and we can customize uh, a number of pieces that you have in here. And by hitting customize, we can look at all the different fields in that table and have a look at what can be on there and what doesn't need to be on there. So if I wanted to take out start, I just click that and save and then it refreshes. And now we have some more meaningful information that's on your page. Now, um, the other thing that we can do with this is we can download this information so that you can put it into Excel or some other format so that it can be analyzed and quantified if you want to go that far with it. Um, format options, delimited, put it into a comma or a CSV form, which is the most common. Um, Google Sheets and Excel will deal with that quite easily. And being very agreeable on this because I don't want to go into a lot of detail on the options, I'm just going to download that. And you can see that contact CSV is downloaded within my browser. And now I can just go in and click open and have a look at all that information. And whenever you see the pounds like that, that's just Excel telling you that you haven't got a big enough column to see all the information. So that's in there. By the way, some of the information that we hid from that table view is back and visible here. You can delete that in column format if you want to, or you can leave it in if it's useful. That is up to you, the user. So there you have it. That is what happens to the information once it is submitted.